Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here, and I hope you're having a great Tuesday, or more likely Wednesday, since I'm making this video pretty late Tuesday night. Want to give a shout out to Wargamer Online. I still can't figure out if it's Wargamers Online or Wargamer Online. I've talked to these guys quite a bit, and they got the magic. So, we're starting today's show out on the Cool Mini or Not site, which I, I, I come here for inspiration quite often. And this Cool Mini is a really great reference site. So let's go to Browse Gallery and go to Top Last 7 Days. And guys, this is where you are going to see the top of the industry. I mean, or of the craft, rather. So I've already loaded a few of them up. I mean, just amazing stuff. So on Cool Mini, you can go on and you can vote up here. You can give everything a rating. And anything that rates over 9, that is really a masterwork, basically, to average over a 9 on this site. Because people, people are really harsh on it. It's pretty brutal. So, yeah, you got this troll... And for a model to really get into those upper echelons, it you've got to not only have great painting work, but also base work, composition, conversions. It's got to be really something unique. And I love this, by the way. This is an Infinity figure. I don't know exactly what it is. Pretty sure it's Infinity. Looks like a few modifications on there, but this is this is really amazing stuff. And yeah, it just it goes it goes on and on. Or you can go to you can go to browse gallery and you can search. So let's say for example you're painting an Eldar army and you need inspiration for color schemes. Well, this is where you can find it. Uh, browse gallery top ten. This is okay. Uh, why didn't it give me a drop down menu? Uh, let's see here. All right, this can happen. All right, that is not going. Browse Gallery, Top 10. Top 10 is, that's just, this stuff is insane. I mean, to score not only above a 9, but above a 9.5, that is, that is really, really saying something. All right, while those are loading, today I came across an article on the hardest Dungeons & Dragons modules. And so I went to eBay to find one called Temple, Tower, Temple, and Tomb uh, that came really highly recommended, and a copy of it runs about 40 bucks. Well, it looks like $20 plus $20 shipping from UK. Yikes. I, I don't know why I'm not finding in the, any in the US. But anyway, I would love to own this module, so if you have a copy, get in touch with me. Uh, you like that? That's a little plug for my personal enjoyment. So top 10 guys, this, uh, wait a minute, that can't be right. There's like an, oh, because that's all. Here you go, top 10. Top 10 figures. And I think this, it's over like a certain period of time. And as you can see, the scores are all above 9.5. And this is just, this is the top. It's the top of the craft. Really amazing stuff. Uh, just so, so well done. All right, we'll let those load. And, okay, there's that D&D &D module again. Ha, <laughs> that looks fantastic. Okay, let's just spend a few minutes looking at the new Warhammer 40K 8th edition updates. There was one for characters, and I guess I just didn't do that one. And I'm just going to start with Weapons Part 2. This is huge. I have to say, I'm really... I'm, I'm surprised. Twin, Okay, so twin-linked weapons, they used to be that they would let you re-roll the hit dice, but it was still a maximum of one weapon actually hitting and doing damage. And now, they just make it so that that weapon just has two shots. Which makes more sense, but I gotta tell you, I don't know how that's gonna affect point costs, and I don't know how it's going to affect the balance of a vehicle. So let's say, for example, you gave a guardsman with light armor, toughness 3, one wound, 
pretty killable, but let's say you gave him the ability of firing 10 LAS cannons. That's what he's carrying. He's carrying a weapon that is the equivalent of that. It's really hard to point cost that out because he could be killed instantaneously or he could do a huge amount of damage before actually being taken out. So points cost, so either these things are going to become unbalanced or the points cost is going to be there to uh, to, to rein them in, or the, excuse me, that they'll be appropriately costed. So Twinling Heavy Bolter, they give a stat line, 36 inch range, we're really familiar with that. Heavy 6, so double the shots, and then of course the stat line as it is. And yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Combi weapons are the same way. You can shoot both weapon again and again and again. And you can shoot both of them, and, but only suffer a minus one to hit. So I got to tell you, there's going to be some really interesting math hammer with these weapons. And it will not take the nerd community very long to figure out exactly what has what power level. So... Yeah, watch out. I can't wait till these rules come out. It's really amazing. And they also, there are no more templates. And here's a weapon that was traditionally a template weapon. Uh, the battle cannon would have the heavy, excuse me, the larger of the two uh, circular blast templates. So similar range, heavy D6. So it fires a certain number of shots. I don't know whether it'll be you roll the d6 and then you roll to hit, or whether you roll... It, it's probably you roll this first and then, if so let's say you get a 4, you would actually roll to hit 4 times. And strength 8, AP minus 2. At what, and what I'm seeing is, because the AP gives a modifier to the armor save, and really it just reduces the armor. So if something has a 3 up, AP minus 2 makes it a 5 up save, which I think is interesting. And then damage is D3. So I wonder if, so for example, let's say you shot this at a unit of models that only had one wound each. Does inflicting D3 wounds and rolling a 2 take off two guys? I don't know. I think it does in Age of Sigmar. And let's move on. So that, that's really my only comments on that. I'm interested to see the points costs, which is really the balancing effect of anything. How many points does it cost and how can you, how can you handle it inside of, inside of the game? So here we go. I think we got a couple things loading here. And so if you want to see the best of the best, head on over to Cool Mini because there are some really, really amazing things over here. And you have to be really quite the master to be able to pull this off. Just as I guess this is a bust. Well, anyway, pretty cool. All right, and let's see here. Let's go to Games Workshop. So Games Workshop has Caradron Overlords. I got to tell you, these guys are pretty cool. And from what I heard, okay, why is this not? Low? Oh, there it is. From what I heard, the basic infantry of these guys. Uh, it, let's see, these guys are order, aren't they? Let's see here. Caradron Overlords, there you go. Uh, looks like 16 entries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe 10 different guys. And that, that's kind of how their army lists are going. They're using, they're, there's not that many per, uh, per book. So, and of course, I've talked a lot about, for example, Flesh Eater Courts. I think there's only like six kits for that army, and they just made it work into so many different things. But the models are really amazing. And I just wanted to point out that this is, a, this is an army where I don't think you see any skin. So it's, it's, it's the metal that you're painting. And I got to say, that is really great for... Uh, novice painters, but there's a lot of complexity on these. I don't even know what to charge to paint one of these. It is definitely extremely complicated. Like, painting one of these is like painting three land raiders. I mean, it's... There, there's, there's certainly a lot to it. And these are transports. 
So there's talk. The last 40K thing that came out was about transports. and or, or was it? No, it was about characters. And then there was questions about how independent characters would work in transports. And so, anyway, and they looked to Age of Sigmar to see how it would, how it would work. And uh, apparently you need certain keywords to get on, on board a certain type of, uh, type of transport. So, uh, well, that's all I got to say. Uh, I do have a special running right now. It's called Have a Nice Summer Special. I'm going to put it in the liner notes. I'll be running it during May. This is really great for somebody that knows that they're going to get into 40K, but maybe you don't know what even what army you're going to do. Just go ahead and uh, pick up one of these specials and be ready to roll in June, July, and August. And as part of the special for the army that you choose, you get uh, wholesale pricing, which is detailed on here, on your models. And it's, it's, it's quite a bit, and it makes it very affordable to, to pick up your figures for an army that you would have us assemble and paint. And, of course, you can still get the special if you want to... Um, if you want to just have us paint up your models. And it's really, really amazing.